I think for the next few hours, I want to do a little bit of like a pretend I live in my car. Oh, I definitely got chocolate milk on my mustache. Hey guys, I was editing, but then I saw this giant bird. Hey guys, so I went into Hobby Lobby for yarn and I got yarn and a couple other things as well. And now it is lunchtime. Um, hold on, no, it's actually time to get all the hair off my lip gloss. Hi, this is Katie. Today's video is already a little bit awkward because there are so many people like right next to me. I'm at a park that has a boat dock and I guess there's just a bunch of people right now who are about to put their boats in the water or something. I don't know, but there's like a lot of people like pretty close to me, so. I'm powering through the awkwardness to talk to you guys and say hi. I think for the next few hours, I want to do a little bit of like a pretend I live in my car, you know, just kind of like be out and about. I'm going to be hanging out in this park for a little bit. I might even like eat lunch while I'm out and stuff like that. Um, but the first thing that I want to do is, oh, I was like, where is it? Um, I want to try this new mascara. This is, hold on, hold on. This is not really new. I used to use this, but like years ago and I don't remember it, you know, so I wanted to try it again. This is the Pacifica Dream Big. And this one is cool because I'll show you, but you can like twist the wand so that it goes like bigger and smaller so that it has like, I guess when you make it longer, it helps with length. And then when you shorten it, it helps with volume. But anyway, I just wanted to put this on and then put lip stick, lipstick, lip gloss, something on, but I have the rest of my makeup on, but I just wanted to do this and okay. So, why does it look so gloopy? I hope someone didn't like open this and use it already. Anyway, uh, so yeah, right here you can twist it. So look, ready? Look at the wand. You see how it just got shorter and it got longer? All right, so let's do, does it say which to do first? Yeah, first with the long brush and then let it dry and then do a second layer with the short brush. No, I'm not gonna let it dry. No, 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 no. All right, long brush, okay. Oh, are you gonna be able to see if I'm like up here? Maybe. Okay. I didn't curl my lashes because I, I forgot my curling thing. Eyelash curler. <laughs> my brain is not really on today. Okay. It's just, it's not. Okay. All right. First coat. If you guys have watched a lot of my videos from the last few months, you might remember that I've had an allergic reaction on my eyes and it like mostly went away a couple weeks ago and so i tried to wear mascara again and it was going fine <laughs> but then um some of the dry patches kind of came back is it because of the mascara we have no clue because i had an allergic reaction but i don't know what to i don't know if it was just florida i don't know if it was a product i was using or what and so it might just be totally coincidental that it came back but like the dry patches kind of came back but I'm wearing mascara anyway, okay? I'm wearing mascara anyway because it didn't get really, really bad again. Like it was puffy and stuff for a while. It didn't get that bad again. It just got dry again. So whatever. And this is Pacifica and it's like a pretty natural brand. So I'm just gonna try it. See if it hurts my eyes or not. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Actually, that looks pretty nice. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's super lengthening but it lengthened a little bit. I did get mascara all over my eyes or my eyelids, not inside. So far, I think it looks nice. All right, now let it, I'm not letting it dry, but I'll let it sit there for 20 seconds. I'm gonna have some of my Owen protein drink. I love these. I love them so much. I really like the dark chocolate one, has 20 grams of protein. Love them, love them, love them. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so now let's shorten the brush and go for volume, which honestly, like, that's pretty volumizing anyway. Voluminizing, volumizing, volume. And, and, and. I think it's pretty decent anyway, even just with the one coat. I am seeing a red patch on my eye again. <laughs> Not from this, cause like, I, I just put this on, but uh, just in general, anyway. Okay, so, so far immediate reaction, this mascara is pretty nice. I'm just putting a tiny bit on my lower eyelashes. I don't like when my lower eyelashes look long. I just like when they look like a little bit darker. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks nice. What do you think? I think it looks nice. Anyway, okay. I'm just kind of nervous. 
I'm telling my brain is not, my brain is not working today. Just, just letting you know. I am just a little bit nervous because when I opened it, it looked like it was already open. I get nervous about like people at like Target. I got this Target, some Target sell Pacifica, not all, but I get nervous at, at places like that because so many times people will open it and use it. And it's like, you guys, that's, that's gross. Anyway. Okay. So that's on. I almost just poked myself in the eye. Put a little bit of lipstick on. Okay. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll fix everything. I'm going to use this Tower 28 lip liner in work of art. Just a tiny bit. Oh, I definitely got chocolate milk on my mustache. Okay, a little bit of that, and then a little bit of the Wallace Wedding Day lipstick. Okay, this is my face today. Hello, hi. This shirt is from Target. That was like $10. I love this shirt, that it's like a little square neck. Love it, $10. Uh, that's it. Okay. So now that my brain is not working, but I need to film a video. I need to film a video. Okay. Oh, I think I'm going to put a little of this on as well. This is the white peach maracuja juicy lip plump. Just a little bit. I have a mini one that came in like a Christmas kit or something. Okay. So hi. obviously we just needed to be outside. <laughs> my brain is like in a weird spot today. So we just needed to come outside obviously wearing my Amazon hiking sandals, of course. Hello, birdie. Hello. Ooh, hello, other birdie. Do you guys see this bird in here? Hi, Bubba. Hi, other Bubba out there. Hello. this bird to fly. I want to watch him. Come on. Hi, Bubba. Oh, good baby. It looks like he's having a hard time. Oh, there we go. Good baby. Okay, so it's super windy. I hope you can hear me, but I kind of want to go to Hobby Lobby right now. So let's go do that. And then I'm thinking maybe we'll like do lunch or something. And by lunch, I mean like go to the grocery store and get a snack but I actually might do some editing first. So let's do that and then go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, so right now I'm editing the video that you're watching right now. Obviously just the footage that I already took, but so I'm just sitting here editing at the same park. And then I think we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. I really am in the mood to crochet. I'm trying to think what I wanna crochet, maybe some washcloths. Maybe I'll do that. Hey guys. I was editing, but then I saw this giant bird. Hi, Bubba. I'm not going to get too close. You guys know me with wildlife. I keep my distance, but he's huge. Can you tell? He's probably like two feet tall. Bye. See you later. I love you. I've never seen a bird fly that close to the ground before. Birdie. There's another bird in that tree singing. All right, back to editing. It was one of those things I never saw coming. The hound that if I did, I'd start running. The day she asked me to dance out in the rain. I knew with her I'd do anything, yeah. Hey guys, so I went into Hobby Lobby for yarn and I got yarn and a couple other things as well. But so the yarn that I got, I got three different colors that I think I'm gonna make washcloths with. And so first I got this like beautiful, really light blue. I was thinking I wanted to make spring washcloths. Also, P.S. I will sell these. <laughs> If you want to buy some washcloths, please let me know. Email me. I always have my email in the description, like underneath the video. Email me and let me know if you want to buy these washcloths. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make one or two, depending on how much yarn I have, um, of these like really beautiful light blue spring washcloths. And then I'm also going to make 
some like lavender washcloths, really light purple. What a beautiful purple. And these are cotton, by the way. When I make washcloths and stuff, I use cotton because they're supposed to be more absorbent than like acrylic or whatever. And the last color I got, it's a different type of yarn, but it's still cotton. It's just like a different brand. Um, but this is, what do they even call this color? Aqua. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful aqua color, which is obviously, again, very different than the blue that I got. So yeah, if you want to buy one of these, please email me and let me know. But I'm gonna make them anyway because I'm just kind of in the mood to crochet. Um, okay, and then the other two things that I got, I'll show you this first. So I got a book. This is Seeing Beautiful Again by Lisa Turkhurst. There's a fuzz on it. Don't mind that. I'll show you in a second why there's a fuzz on it. But anyway, I have one of Lisa Turkhurst devotionals that I got at Target a few months ago, and I love it. And so this is another one of her devotionals, uh, 50 Devotions to Find Redemption in Every Part of Your Story. And so I got that. I think all their books are always 40% off. And so this book was $15. That's what I spent to get this. And I'm really excited. I read one of them in there, or like a half of one of the devotionals in there, and it was really good. And so I think this will be a good one. And then the last thing that I got... You guys, look how cute this little cow is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at his little eyes. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with him? I love stuffed animals. You guys know that. And look how cute. He was only $10. Not even on sale. It just says $10 on his tag. Little Highland cow. Are you kidding me with how cute he is? Oh my god, a little stuffed animal. I love him already. Look how cute. Okay, so his fuzz is already on my nose. Okay. Oh, good little baby. Look at him. So, hi baby. You have so many brothers and a sister. When you get home, you'll meet them all. I love stuffed animals so much. He is shedding all over me. Are you gonna shed a lot? Yeah, all right, well we'll, well, we'll see, we'll figure it out. Look how cute he is though. His fuzz is literally all over me, it's in my lip gloss. I don't care, he's so cute, he's so cute. Maybe if I brush him, it'll stop? Maybe if I give him a bath? Anyway, so I got him too. Okay, so that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. And now it is lunchtime. Um, hold on, no, it's actually time to get all the hair off my lip gloss and off my nose. Okay, now it's lunchtime, or maybe like a little snack. So let's go to Publix, and then I'm gonna go home because I need to finish editing this video. But yeah, so let's go to Publix, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. Hey guys, I went to Publix, and I was gonna get cold cuts, but the cold cuts line was really long, and I have so much work that I have to do when I get home, and so like I didn't really wanna wait in that line right now. But I got a snack for lunch, and then I'll just have like a bigger dinner. So what I got, well first I got four polar seltzers. I got three limes and one mandarin. Yeah, mandarin. I got those. And then, oh my goodness, so heavy. Okay, so then I did get bread. Cause like, maybe I'll go back tomorrow and get cold cuts. Cause I kind of want cold cuts for the next few days. Anyway, I got Udi's French bread. This is my favorite gluten-free bread favorite. I also really like the Canyon Bakehouse sliced bread if you want sliced bread. Canyon Bakehouse, delicious. But for like a roll or something, the Udi's, so good. And then for my snack for right now, I got Tostitos, the Simply Organic blue corn ones with some boar's head hummus. Just the regular traditional flavor. I also got an apple for the house. Uh, Granny Smith, organic. Okay, so I'm going to eat that snack. Oh, I also, hold on, let me put this wet. Hold on. I also went into Dollar Tree because I really like to get snacks for my car in Dollar Tree. I mean, other things sometimes too, but I really like to go there to get snacks because they have like little uh, individual packs of food. And I like to get the Popcorners Kettle Corn chips from there because I love these. These are delicious. But again, I like to keep these in the car for like if I'm gonna be out and about all day and I need a snack, I like to have these. So I got four of those for $5 because it's a $1.25 Dollar Tree now. Okay, so right now, I am gonna edit a little bit while I have my snack, but then I'm just gonna go home and like finish editing because I need to work the rest of the afternoon. But sometimes I like to work for my car. But that can only go so far when I don't bring my computer charger with me. So I probably will be heading home in the next half hour or so. But at least for now, I'm just gonna have some hummus and I'm gonna get my little desk 
for my computer and I'm, I guess I cannot fit the computer and the hummus on the same desk. It's a weird sentence, but I can't do it. But I'll just have a few right now, chat with you for another minute and then I'll go and finish editing. Oh, I broke it. Oh man. I haven't had hummus in weeks. Isn't that weird? I feel like I have hummus all the time, but nope, not the last few weeks. from home, obviously. I do not leave home without a Polar Seltzer or a LaCroix. It just doesn't happen. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Boar's Head flavored hummus is because I really only tried this one and like the everything hummus and maybe the garlic hummus, but let me know what other flavors you like because with all my food allergies, I still can eat several of the Boar's Head flavored hummuses. Am I? But I just generally go for the traditional one, but let me know if you like one better. He kind of looks like he's trying to be intimidating, but he's too cute. So like, it's not possible. Like he can't be intimidating, but he looks like he kind of wants to be. You know what I mean? Like, but like, no, you're too cute. It's not gonna work. Got my computer on my desk. So I'm probably gonna edit here and eat some hummus for like a half hour and then I'm gonna go home, but I'm just gonna close out the video, I think, before I start to work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I really hope that you're subscribed for some videos like this and then I do talk about food a lot on Sundays. And oh, the mascara, by the way, I do like it. I like it. It's not flaking yet. I still think that it looks nice. So that's good. So that's the win for the day and my little baby. But yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.